All right, welcome to our program today. We have a great episode for you today. We're also happy to have a special guest, Christian, on our show today. Hello. Today we'll take a look at a project that Christian has been working on for a while. It's an instructional vision video. Let's see how we get started. For this tutorial, you're going to need a few things. You're just going to need a supply of water, an ice tray, and a freezer. For alternatives for the supplies you might need? Yeah, for the other types of materials for this tutorial. All right, well, uh, instead of a uh, source of water, I know that one's a bit hard for some people. Uh, if you want, you can also wait for the rain, which is naturally uh, purified by Mother Nature herself. And you can wait for that with an ice tray outside. If you don't have an ice tray, any little container will do. If you don't have a freezer, if it's cold enough, you can just w put it outside in like a little patch of snow, and mm. it should freeze in a couple hours. Great. Awesome, now let's watch the step-by-step -step process. Step one. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your ice tray. I like to keep mine in my oven for safekeeping. Now that we're done with step one, acquire our ice tray. Now we're on to step two. For step two, you're gonna wanna fill your ice tray with water. You don't have to worry about overfilling the ice tray with water because it'll just go over the top and then just go in the sink. There's no big deal. Now, you want to make sure it's filled nice to the top so that way you get that large ice cube stuff. Not, not tiny ones. Better. Now that we've got our ice tray filled with water, we're on to step number. Now, you may have to move some stuff around if your fridge doesn't have a lot of space in it. Luckily, I have just the spot for this right here. Now we wait for it to freeze. Should be done now. You know, it takes longer than five seconds for ice to freeze. What? Okay. Guess we have to wait a bit longer. Step four, wait for the ice to freeze. Now that I've been sitting here for 14 hours, the ice should be ready. And now we're on to step five. Now we're just gonna go ahead and retrieve the ice from the freezer.
that was very funny. How long did it take you to film and edit this instructional video? Well, as you saw, I stood there for 14 hours straight. So it took at least 14 hours, probably so closer to 15 for the editing. It might have been 16 hours, but most of the time spent was just standing there. I was really hungry. My legs were getting really tired. Uh, I could imagine. Mm -hmm. I was really struggling with that part. Um, was it easy for you? <laughs> no, it was not easy. It was one of the hardest things I've done in my life, just standing still. Well, I couldn't even stand still. You start seeing, I start moving. Uh, I got so impatient, and then I just paced back and forth for 14 hours, and I'm pretty sure I left like a mark on the ground because of how much I walked back and forth over that spot. Well, it looks like you had a lot of fun filming this. Now let's see the last part of the video. Now that we've got our ice made, you're all set to enjoy as you please. A great little snack on its own, or if you're like me, I like to put a little hot sauce on my ice. That's all for today's tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about making different foods in the kitchen, don't ask me. I made ice. That's the extent at which I'm able to make anything. And if you're looking for more pro-life tips, please don't ask me. I'm begging you. That's all. Have a good one. was great Christian now let me ask you this why would you choose a cooking tutorial if you can't cook at all well cooking is something I'm passionate about in theory mm. like the concept of <clears throat> have you ever seen the movie Ratatouille that yes, yeah. sparked a passion in my heart for cooking and I've never been able to cook anything I've, I've tried so much and it's all been bad it's been awful it looks like garbage and it tastes like garbage but <clears throat> well uh, but ice is something I can make because it's just water in a location. So I did that That's because that's the only thing I can cook in my life. Well, you did a great job, Christian, but that's all the time we have for now. Please join us next time for NCC News.